Fat is an important fuel source in many organisms. As I covered in my previous video titled Triacylglycerol Metabolism, fats or triacylglycerols can be mobilized in a deposite by the hormone glucagon, releasing free fatty acid and glycerol. Glycerol undergoes two reactions that enter glycolysis through dihydroxyacetone phosphate. This video will cover how fatty acid is oxidized to generate energy and resynthesized in anabolic pathways. The enzymes of fatty acid oxidation in animal cells are found in the mitochondrial matrix. Therefore, free fatty acids released from adipose tissue or obtained from diet must undergo three reactions of the carnitine shuttle to transport from the cytosol into the mitochondrial matrix. First, acyl-CoA synthetase links the carboxyl group of fatty acid and the thiol group of coenzyme A to yield a high-energy compound, fatty acyl-CoA. This reaction is coupled to the hydrolysis of two high-energy bonds in ATP, producing AMP and inorganic pyrophosphate, which is immediately hydrolyzed by inorganic pyrophosphatase. Fatty acids then attaches to the hydroxyl group of carnitine to form fatty acyl carnitine, which is catalyzed by carnitine palmitoyl transferase 1, also known as carnitine acyl transferase 1, found on the outer mitochondrial membrane, abbreviated as CPT1 or CAT1. Fatty acyl carnitine then passes through the outer mitochondrial membrane into the intermembrane space and moves into the mitochondrial matrix by facilitated diffusion through the acyl carnitine carnitine transporter of the inner mitochondrial membrane. In the last step of the carnitine shuttle, carnitine acyl transfer 2 or CAT2, located on the inner mitochondrial membrane, transfers the fatty acyl group from carnitine to coenzyme A, regenerating fatty acyl CoA and carnitine in the mitochondrial matrix. Carnitine re-enters the intermembrane space through the acyl carnitine carnitine transporter. Fatty acyl CoA in the mitochondrial matrix is now ready to be degraded by beta oxidation to generate energy. The beta oxidation of saturated fatty acids involves four repeating steps that oxidizes and releases two carbons from the carboxyl end as acetyl CoA. First, acyl CoA dehydrogenase produces a double bond between the alpha and beta carbons of fatty acyl CoA producing trans-enoyl-CoA, which is coupled to the reduction of FAD to FADH2. Next, enoyl-CoA hydratase catalyzes a hydration reaction to enoyl-CoA, producing beta hydroxyacyl coa which is subsequently oxidized to beta keto coa by the enzyme beta hydroxyacyl coa dehydrogenase, which is coupled to the reduction of NAD plus to NADH. Lastly, the enzyme thiolase, also known as acyl-CoA acetyltransferase, cleaves the carboxy terminal 2-carbon fragment of beta keto acyl coa as acetyl-CoA, producing a shorter acyl-CoA that can begin a new round of beta-oxidation. Notice that these four repeating steps of beta-oxidation are analogous to the last four steps of citric acid cycle. From succinate to malate, saturated fatty acids repeat beta-oxidation to release acetyl-CoA from the carboxyl end. For example, the 16-carbon palmitate undergoes 7 rounds of beta-oxidation to produce A-acetyl-CoA. The acetyl-CoA is then catabolized in citric acid cycle, producing carbon dioxide. The NADH and FADH2 produced from beta-oxidation and citric acid cycle enters the respiratory chain, driving ATP synthesis through oxidative phosphorylation. Fatty acid biosynthesis occurs in the cytosol. Therefore, acetyl-CoA needs to be transported from the mitochondrial matrix back into the cytosol. First, citrus synthase from the citric acid cycle condenses the acetyl-CoA derived from pyruvate or beta-oxidation with oxyl acetate to form citrate, which passes through the inner mitochondrial membrane and enters the mitochondrial matrix, where it is reconverted back into oxyl acetate and acetyl-CoA by citrate lyase which is coupled to the hydrolysis of 1 ATP to ADP and inorganic phosphate. Oxyl acetate is reduced to malate, which can return to mitochondrial matrix and reconverts to oxyl acetate. However, the major fate of cytosolic malate is oxidation by malic enzyme to generate cytosolic NADPH, which is an important energy source during fatty acid biosynthesis. The pyruvate produced from this reaction then returns to the mitochondrial matrix and reconverts to oxyl acetate by pyruvate carboxylase. The free acetyl-CoA in the cytosol is now ready for fatty acid biosynthesis. First, acetyl-CoA carboxylase condenses acetyl-CoA with bicarbonate to form 3-carbon malonyl-CoA, which involves the cofactor biotin and is coupled to the hydrolysis of ATP to ADP and inorganic phosphate. The malonyl-CoA then goes through a repeating 4-step sequence that parallels the beta-oxidation in reverse. Catalyzed by a multi-domain enzyme complex,
complex called fatty acid synthase. The fatty acid synthase contains a prosthetic group known as acyl carrier protein, abbreviated as ACP, which serves as a flexible arm that carries the growing fatty acyl chain. Similar to beta oxidation, Fatty acid biosynthesis adds acyl group two carbons at a time. For each round of fatty acid biosynthesis, malonyl acetyl-CoA ACP transferase, abbreviated as MAD, transfer an incoming malonyl-CoA to ACP, releasing free coenzyme A. The malonyl group then condenses with the growing fatty acyl ACP by the enzyme beta-ketoacyl ACP synthase, abbreviated as KS releasing a molecule of carbon dioxide from the existing fatty acyl group. Since a 3-carbon malonyl group is added and 1-carbon dioxide is released, these two reactions result in a net addition of 2 carbons to the growing chain. The beta-ketoacyl ACP then undergoes reduction of the carbonyl group of the beta-carbon by the enzyme beta-ketoacyl ACP reductase, abbreviated as KR, to form beta-hydroxyacyl ACP. This reduction reaction is coupled to the oxidation of NADPH to NADP+. Beta-hydroxyacyl ACP then undergoes hydrolysis reaction catalyzed by beta-hydroxyacyl ACP dehydratase, abbreviated as DH, to form enoyl acyl ACP. In the last step of fatty acid biosynthesis, enoyl acyl ACP is reduced to fatty acyl ACP by enoyl ACP reductase, abbreviated as ER. This reduction is also coupled to the oxidation of NADPH to NADP+. The fatty acyl ACP, now with two additional carbon than the original chain, is now ready to begin another round of fatty acid biosynthesis. Notice the parallel between beta oxidation and fatty acid biosynthesis. The oxidation reactions catalyzed by dehydrogenase parallel with the reduction reactions catalyzed by reductases. As I mentioned in my previous video on biological oxidation and reduction, oxidative degradation reactions are usually coupled to the reduction of FAD to FADH2 or NAD plus to NADH, which will later be oxidized in respiratory chain during oxidative phosphorylation to synthesize ATP. On the other hand, reductive biosynthesis reactions are usually coupled to the oxidation of NADPH to NADP+. Dialase also parallels with synthase, while hydratase parallels with dehydratase. Cool. The oxidation of unsaturated fatty acids and odd-chain fatty acids will be covered in a future video. The rate-limiting step of fatty acid oxidation is carnitine acyl transferase 1, which is inhibited by malonyl-CoA, the starting material of fatty acid biosynthesis. On the other hand, the rate-limiting step of fatty acid biosynthesis is acetyl-CoA carboxylase, which is activated by citrate and insulin and inhibited by palmitoyl-CoA and glucagon.